Welcome to In the Zoom Where It Happens with our hosts, Katie Beavis and Brandon Kreckel. Hi, I'm Katie Beavis. And I'm Brandon Kreckel. And today we are in the Zoom with Trey Cunningham with Emprise Bank. Welcome, Trey. Thank you very much for having me. Excited to be here. Look forward to the show. Of course. Yeah, well, welcome back. Welcome back. I, I had to acknowledge it. Take two. Take two. <laughs> We got we got it this time. We're we're all feeling good. We're feeling confident that that we are safely at home and warm during this polar vortex. And so uh, it's going to be great. We're going to learn about Emprise again. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's jump right in. And and Trey, like last time, we we'd love to hear a little background about yourself and um and how you got involved with Emprise Bank. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Uh, started my banking career uh, in two thousand eight here in Kansas City. Um, that opportunity allowed me to head to Central Missouri, the Jefferson City, Columbia area, uh, to take over the markets in those spaces um, and really help drive sales there. Um, had an opportunity to come back to Kansas City about two and a half years ago. Uh, it's where my wife is from. Uh, we had kiddo number two, so it was time to head back to Kansas City, get some support. Um, so made the move back um, about that time. Uh, a gentleman that I worked with, Gil Trout, uh, had taken over as the head of commercial for Emprise Bank and reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in helping the bank put their uh, their footprint on Kansas City and open up the Missouri market. Uh, seemed like a, an opportunity that I, I couldn't pass up and a, a chance to try my hat at something new. So uh, took that on. Uh, it'll be two years at the end of March. So uh I've been in the market uh, for about two years now, um, opened up our shop uh, about six months ago in the crossroads, and we are happy to be here, happy to be representing Emprise Bank in Kansas City and into the Missouri market as well, and still serving Kansas City, obviously, or Kansas, obviously. Yeah, we are definitely glad to have you back in Kansas City. Um, <laughs> talk a little bit about your role specifically at Emprise and how you guys are staying busy and continuing to grow and to support the community that, that you're now really embedded in. Yeah, great, thank you. Now, uh, I took the role as president in this market, uh, started off with just me uh, and my truck pretty much in town, uh, trying to raise awareness about the bank. We've had some natural synergies from Wichita and from our Lawrence market doing business in Kansas City, but obviously the Emprise name was still a very quiet name in the market. Uh, so really thought uh, that the first part of my job as president in the market would be just to build awareness uh, we had the opportunity to look at some opportunities early with some great companies in Kansas City. Uh, we've been able to find success and keep that going. So uh, we really just kind of picked up and, and really started doing a lot of great things. We've been uh, introduced to some great companies, some great partners, uh, and some great advocates for us in, in the market, including the Chamber. Um, and, uh, and now we're really just trying to take that, uh, that effort to the next level to continue to raise awareness. Like I said, we we have an office now, um, so we one day we'll hopefully be able to show people where we are. We have a sign out front, so it's not just this uh, uh, balding gentleman in a truck coming around telling people you should bank with me. So uh, it gives us a little more um, credibility in the market, I would say. So uh, we're excited. We're, uh, we've been involved in the PPP loans. We've been involved in a lot of great things. That's what I love about Kansas City, um, as the markets have kind of quieted down um, around the country. I feel like Kansas City has stayed very active. We have continued to push through on a lot of opportunities that we were working on uh, towards the end of 2019 uh, and booked those through 2020 and have a lot of great uh, deal flow going into 2021. So we've been excited about what Kansas City has been able to do uh, in the face of these headwinds. You mentioned um, PPP loans and that seems to be, I'm sure, a buzzword. Throughout the banking and I mean just the business community in general over these last this last year, um, you know how have you guys adapted with all of that, especially recently with round two coming in, um, and then following that, the you know building a relationship with the bank is is wildly important. How can members of the community start building that relationship with Emprise? Yeah, yeah, great. Um, PPP has been uh, has been an amazing. Uh, product for the community. Um, it took a while, obviously, for banks to get their arms around uh, getting those out to the customers, but I feel uh, that we have, have a very good grasp with the team that we have in Wichita. That's where I'm lucky. I have a great team that I can lean on when I'm uh, bumping into to customers of ours or a few prospects that we've helped uh, with uh, the PPP loans. I've been able to really rely on my, my team of specialists down there, but uh, we are in the big wave right now where 
there's quite a few applications for forgiveness on round one and applications for round two. So we're kind of caught in that, that storm of both of them. But again, uh, I have a resilient team behind me that's helped me uh, keep in touch with our customers and help us turn those relatively quickly. Uh, give them the relief of knowing that their first ones have been forgiven to the amount that they've requested and let them know that they have new funds available for them uh, as we launch into 2021 as well. Um, as far as reaching out to us, like I said, we, we, we are here now. We're open for business and, and ready to talk to, to anyone who would like to look at us. Uh, we focus in the, the commercial real estate space, operating companies, equipment loans, uh, more for that small to mid-sized company. Uh, we are uh, a just under $3 billion bank. So that's that mid-size is a perfect fit for us. Um, you can reach us at, uh, at Emprise Bank. I'm T. Cunningham at EmpriseBank.com or 573-230-6695. Easy way to catch me on my cell phone. Love to hear from anybody interested. I love it. I love the plug. I think it's great. Um, Shameless. <laughs> yes. Very QVC style. Let's get you, let's get you connected. Operators are standing Only this by. many loans remaining. Call fast. <laughs> <laughs> the end of this program. Um, that's fantastic. So you guys are, are actively helping so many different small businesses within our community. And, and one of the, the taglines or slogans, if you will, with Emprise is strengthening communities. Um, outside of the PPP loans, what are other ways that you guys get involved with your community to help strengthen and grow and, and just be overall supportive? Yeah, uh, the bank does an amazing job of one, giving us time uh, built into our employee packets, basically, that we have time off paid by the bank to support our communities, whether that's through not-for-profits not for profits or other organizations that you want to support, donating time, being a big for uh, a big brother, big sister, something along those lines. Those are built in, which I think is an amazing uh, testament to our bank. Um, the bank also encourages us to, to all kind of get involved uh, in boards or other groups, uh, two to three, that we really feel passionate about so we can really uh, support it and, and be, be involved, not just grab onto something to be part of it and then meetings pop up and you're not there. Grab onto the things that you're passionate about. Make sure you're involved with things that, that mean a lot to you and then the bank will come back behind and support. Um, we, we partner with the chamber. We partner with uh, a lot of other groups around town to help us uh, find avenues that we can help with our expertise as well. Uh, the PPP is one way that we were able to help, but sometimes that's being on a, a committee or something through the chamber where, hey, this is how the bank would look at this, or hey, this is how we would we would um, approach something along those lines, and we can we can help from that st that standpoint as well. So um, I feel like we have tons of avenues uh, to support the community. Uh, I encourage everybody on my team uh, to be actively involved. Uh, myself, I'm doing the same thing, but always looking for other organizations as well. Um, so again, back to those, if there's a place that somebody thinks I need to be, I would love to hear from them on uh, something where maybe we could lend some support. Uh, we're always open to that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, again, I think the bank does a great job of allowing us to do it. And I think our team takes full advantage of it. Quick follow-up question to that. Um, you mentioned, you know, being part of boards of organizations, maybe that you're passionate about. Trey, what, what are some things that in Kansas City um, or Wichita that you are passionate about? Uh, I, uh, I am passionate about golf and I am passionate about basketball. Um, I am built better for one than the other, uh, but, uh, enjoy playing both. Um, a lot of my free time is dedicated, uh, to golf. And then a lot of evening basketball, uh, are kind of things I'm passionate about. Um, in this winter wonderland, I'd love to be out snowboarding right now. Something I'm very passionate about as well. Just don't do as much as I would like. Uh, and then just family time. I love opportunity to be around family, two young girls. Um, so love all the time with them uh, before the doors start getting slammed in my face as they get older. Uh, use the cute fun time right now and, uh, and enjoy all that I can get. Um, but uh, it's just and, uh, passionate about Kansas City. A lot of great things going on in Kansas City. It's an awesome time uh, to be back. I remember when I was in Kansas City the first time and, and then moving back two and a half years ago, just the, the difference feel that the city brought at that time. And it is such a awesome energy uh, to be a part of right now and a time to be working in this area. Uh, as the city grows, I think the, the attractiveness to, to young people uh, looking to move and, and look for jobs, the city has completely transformed what it looks like. And so I think it's just an amazing time uh, to be in Kansas City. And I think it's a great time to be passionate about everything Kansas City has going on.
<laughs> yep, I did it. I did it. I unmute myself. There it was. <laughs> we are a year into a pandemic, and I am the one who struggles with my mute button. Um, At least you're but, not a cat, right? Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am not a cat. Um, yes, yeah, so it is a wonderful time to be in Kansas City. And a lot of the, the great successes that, that we're seeing and the resiliency that's coming within Kansas City as we work our way out of this pandemic, you know, that is a thanks to, to businesses and organizations like yours, Trey, and the support that you guys are giving um, to the community. So thank you for, for what you're doing um, to, to continue to support us and allow for us to have that resiliency. That's, that's huge and, and admirable, and, and we're grateful for you. Um, you. Going back to your passions, uh, we're working our way into March Madness. So do you have a team? Is there someone that you're favoring? Where, where you stand with that? Uh, so I'm a Mizzou grad, uh, been a Mizzou fan my whole life. How I snuck into Emprise as a Mizzou guy, I have no idea. But uh, it's a fun year to be able to maybe turn the coin a little bit. Uh, been a rough week this week, but uh, I think the Tigers um, have positioned themselves all right to, to make the tournament this year and hopefully can, can win a game. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen that. So uh, that's where I hedge and then uh, wherever my bracket takes me from there, if there's any money involved. <laughs> I like it. M-I-Z. Z-O-U. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then my last question is you, you, you're golfing. You're, you're passionate about golf. Where's your spot in Kansas city? And if you get to, when we get back to traveling and, and where we get to go places, where's your number one destination to hit? Yeah. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a Staley farms, uh, member, uh, and play a lot there with a good group of friends I grew up with. Um, it has the stigma of the, uh, the miniature golf course, golf course with some of the greens, but, uh, it's absolutely a treat to play all the time uh, with, with the guys that I'm there with. So that is my go-to here in Kansas City. I love playing all over the city, though. There's tons of great, <clears throat> excuse me, courses all over the city. Uh, when I travel, Arizona's got some great, uh, great places down there. I'm actually heading down uh, to see my cousin to play a little golf here in the next week um, and trying to play two or three courses down there while we're down there. So uh, hopefully that will hold me over till we get through some of this weather and uh, the spring spring heat starts to show up so I can get back out around here. Love it. I'll, I'll be down, I think in a couple months, I've got a brother that lives down there. Um, so if you have any recommendations on places to golf, he's always looking. Oh yeah, I welcome any of them. Cause we, we play a couple, we're mixing it up this time, playing some all new ones. So I'm excited about that. But, uh, but yeah, I'm always up for recommendations. Cool, awesome. Well, last question for you, Trey. I think we're gonna, unfortunately have to wrap it up, but um, it's it's, been a great conversation so far. So one thing we like to, to ask all of our guests is, you know, what's one thing that you want Kansas City to know about Emprise Bank? Uh, that we're here and that we're open for business. We are um, a strong bank. <clears throat> we have great leadership. We have great team on the ground here. Uh, we have an open location that hopefully we'll be able to, to entertain clients and, and, uh, and friends in the future. But uh, but yeah, that, that we're here, that we're open for business. Um, we have a great appetite for real estate. We have great appetite for operating companies. We look, we look to build relationships all throughout the city and surrounding areas. Um, but yeah, that that Emprise is a bank that uh, that people should pay attention to. Um, that I think that we have some great things going, and uh, people are going to see our name across the city a little more with with projects that we're partnering on. Uh, so just raising awareness about our bank and that we're open to meet, and uh, we'd love to talk to anybody in the future. It's fantastic. Thank you so much, Trey. It is always a pleasure getting to talk with you and, and have you in the Zoom. And um, hopefully we'll get to have you back again soon. But um, thank you for all you do. Your your continued support within the community and of the chamber is incredibly valued and, and we appreciate it. Oh, vice versa. We greatly appreciate everything that the chamber offers to us and uh, the, the pivot as we move into this, this more electronic world uh, and your guys' grasp of that and helping us kind of take that to the next level. So thank you guys for, for the opportunity and thank you guys so much for the mm -hmm. time. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Stay safe. Safe travels to Arizona. <laughs> Power stayed on. That's important. <laughs>